Druid Builder is a companion app for Device Druid, and it's available through the Windows App Store, so it was released for Windows, but I really wanted a Linux client for it. So this is how I went about packaging it up for Ubuntu and uh, RPMs and stuff like that. Uh, so this will be a quick guide to uh, Linux deployment of Ionic apps. So the first step was to develop the app itself. Of course, uh, this was done just using Ionic Framework, so the usual techniques apply, so blah, 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 and finally Ionic Build and whatever you want. Once that's done, you end up with a directory with all the transpiled code. So in this case, it would be Druid Builder, blah, 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 and you get the build directory in there that has all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. So now we're ready to package it up, and uh, so it's been done for Windows and it's Linux time. So I created this subdirectory and just added a couple of things. The main parts are a CMake list, because I'm using CMake uh, CPack to package up the stuff and deal with the details of creating RPMs and DEBs. And that's pretty much it. So I created a couple of uh, subdirectors here. Druid Builder is just a copy of this whoa, 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 directory here, up here, this guy. So I created this and I gave it a particular name. Inside I put one special file, basically a copy of the Cordova config, got rid of some of the uh, cruft for the other platforms, but the point is I have an ID here that's unique to my application, I have a name set up, I have an icon and a splash, and uh, blah blah blah, a couple of things, including the plugins I'm using, which in this case are the device plugin and the SQLite for SQLite databases, and the in-app browser that comes basically with Coraline anyways. So that's one thing. In the shortcuts directory here, I've got a desktop uh, link thing. So I'm going to have a, a soft link from, from called Druid Builder here. It's going to point to Coraline and uh, I've set up a logo and blah, blah, blah. It's just the usual stuff. Finally, well, let's actually do that. The soft link is going to go to user local you know, Coraline and I need to call it Druid Builder because Coraline actually does some magic. If your soft link is the same name as your content thing and it's in the right directory, then it'll just magically work. So, once we've got that, let's take a look at the CMake file. So basically, uh, I'm not going to go into the details, but I set up my project and I'm doing all this stuff to set up the devs and the RPMs. And one of the main, most interesting parts of that is being able to set some dependencies here. Uh, I'm depending on Coraline, I'm depending on the plugin, the device plugin, and the SQLite plugin, so you won't be able to install the deb unless you have all the requirements. That way I'm sure that the environment I'm in is suitable for operation. And then uh, the installation process is basically copying everything to the right place. I'm going to put the Druid Builder under the Coraline shared content directory. I'm going to put the soft link into a bin directory, and I'm going to put the shortcuts into user share applications. So that's great. Let's, let's do this. Uh, build. I would see make it's just a question of actually making. So uh, I'm creating the, the, the make files. This is step one. Step two is usually make, but there's nothing to do here. And then step three, I'm going to make those packages. So what it's doing is it's generating the deb and RPM files. And now I can install that. Let's just take a look at it first. The contents of Druid Builder Deb, all those files from the uh, transpile directory, plus my soft link shortcut. So that's cool. So let's actually install it. There. Once that's done, a couple of things are available. The first and most important to GUI users is this guy, the application shortcut. And when Druid Builder loads, you actually have the app and it's right here. What I'm doing is I'm basically, uh, the shortcut is pointing to that soft link. That soft link is telling Coraline, hey, I'm running as Druid Builder. Coraline is saying, oh, I'm Druid Builder and there's no uh, argument on the command line. Well, I'll just see if there happens to be any Druid Builder content in there. And there is, of course, because we installed it. So psh, there goes the app. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Uh, we didn't see it, but there's actually a splash screen that's set up by the config. Everything is uh, pretty customized. You can see the icon here, Druid Builder. It's all pretty nice and it's all running within Coraline. So that's it. Uh, any questions or comments come through the uh, Druid Builder or the Coraline site or pretty much anywhere. 
<laughs> and get in touch through the contact forms and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Uh, thanks. I hope you enjoyed and that this will allow you to bundle your own applications for Coraline and Linux. Cheers. Oh,